Hey guys, this is Jared at the ranch in North Texas. Thanks for joining us. I uh, wanted to shoot a little video here and show you what we do when we precondition our calves when we wean them. We uh, wean those, which means we take them off of their moms and uh, take them to a different ranch and we put them in a set of really secure corrals for three or four days. Uh, they have fresh hay and, and clean water in there. Uh, they're pretty stressed when we take them off their moms for a few days and so we really want to control that environment for them and make that the least uh, stressful situation that we can have. Uh, about four or five days after that, we put them in a bigger trap. It has a little bit of grass, but it also has, uh, again, free choice hay and uh, real fresh water. Uh, we also begin to feed them a mixed feed because when we're preconditioning these, uh, we give them vaccines. Uh, we run a real stringent vaccine program uh, to where these cattle, when we wean them and they get stressed, the two biggest things that stress causes are illness and uh, weight loss. So what we want to do is we want to precondition these cattle to go to a feed yard or to a grazing operation to where that they are not sick, they, uh, they eat feed real well, uh, they're around people, they're around trucks, they're around horses and everything, and so their stress level is really low. Uh, usually after about 20 days on that program, uh, they are uh, back to their original weights that they were when we weaned them, which is a pretty good deal. And then they start gaining anywhere from one to three pounds a day uh, in the next 15, uh, 25 days. Uh, we do a 45 day program. In the next 25 days, they gain anywhere from a pound to three pounds a day. So uh, let's get into this video. I, what I do is every morning when I go over there, I look through those cattle and see if there are any that are sick. And if there's any uh, respiratory issues, if there's any injuries, if there's any pink eye, if there's anything like that, what I'll do is when I, when I start pulling up, these, these cattle will start coming up. And uh, especially my lead steers. We use, a, we use a couple of lead steers in each one of these uh, groups of calves uh, because they are, they are just that. They lead these calves to water. They lead these calves to feed. So what happens when I pull up with the feed truck, those lead steers see the feed truck and they go, oh, it's time to eat. So they come up and they drag a few calves with them. In this next video, you'll see, uh, I, I had driven up and I had a little group of calves come up. And so I just opened the pens there. Those, that lead steer came in with, oh, 10 or 12 calves. The one that was sick, I pushed her up with that group of calves and then I split her off with a couple of calves so she doesn't get alone and gets even more stressed out than she was. And uh, I'll show you how, how we get them doctored. And then what we do uh, kind of on a daily basis, feeding and uh, putting out hay. Came out here this morning to feed these calves and as you can see, this big heifer here in the back got kind of a bad eye. Her, it would be her right eye right there. Looks like she has some pink eye. So I'm gonna be taking her into the chute and giving her some antibiotics for it. Got her in here duly restrained. I'm gonna give her a little antibiotic. Right here, I'm gonna give that sub Q, which is just under the skin, and get that little bit of pink eye cleared up in her eye. As you can see, she's got a little clip on her tag there between the eight and the nine. That just shows that we uh, doctored her. We'll put that on our records, in my record book, and then also on our computer. That way they go down the right channels when we sell them. As you can see, these cattle are nice and settled. I'm gonna turn them back out in their pasture here and we're gonna put out some feed and some hay for them. Uh, as you can see, we're feeding out of a feeder on the back of the pickup here. As you can see, this feed is a commodity mixed blend. It's got some commodity pellets. It's got some uh, flaked corn. It's got some gluten pellets. It's got some uh, cottonseed hull some good stuff to get these calves started eating you can see here on my dash I've got a counter and as I put out feed it counts how much feeds going out so we 
we don't feed too little and we don't feed too much. Oh man, what a beautiful morning. Been out feeding these calves. Some feed and I'm gonna go get them a bale of hay. Because as you can see out my passenger window out there, we're in a pretty severe drought. It's been incredibly hot all summer. Uh, we've had like six days since the third week of May. Uh, it is, today is the 12th of August. We've had uh, only six days in the 90s since the third week of May. And it's been all the way up to 114, so 100 plus every day, pretty warm. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna pick up this bale of hay and go give it to these calves. We'll keep going with our morning. So beautiful this morning, I'm ready to get back to headquarters and ride my horses before it gets too hot. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I enjoyed making it and uh, you know, if you have any comments or questions or anything, put them down in the comments and I'll try to answer your questions. And uh, you know, we, uh, we enjoy doing these videos because this is our way of life and I just enjoy sharing it with you. And you know, and hoping you'll see, a, see it from a different side. You know, there's some people out there that are naysayers and that they, they see it from a different angle and they see that we're cruel to our animals and that, you know, we, we choke them and rope them and drag them and hurt them and uh, whip on them and uh, you know hot shot them and all that but the vast majority of us in this industry are very good to our animals because that's our that's our way of life that's that's our income uh, we also answer to a, to a higher calling uh, being God you know the Bible says that a, a righteous man cares for the welfare of his animals and that a godless man's blessings are even cruel. You know, in a righteous man, the only way you can be righteous is because of Jesus. If you know Jesus and accept him as your savior, that's the only way you can have right standing and, and flee from sin and, and pray for forgiveness and pray that God changes your life away from your sin. That's the only way we can be right is accepting Jesus as our savior. And you know, I thank God for my way of life and that he's given me a heart that I love these animals. And people say, oh, well, you're gonna, you're gonna raise those up to go slaughter them and eat them. Yeah, that's right. But while they're here, I'm gonna take care of them to the very best of my ability and give them the best life possible. Again, that's why we precondition our cattle so that when people buy them, they won't be sick, uh, they'll gain weight, and they'll, really, it, it's, they'll be a really good producing product. Um, if you have any questions or comments or anything, hey, put those in the in that comment section down there. I'll try to answer as many questions as I can. I hope you're enjoying these. I enjoy doing them. And uh, until next time, adios, buddy. <laughs>